Welcome to ExoNews TV, I'm Michael Sala. On November 12, the European Space Agency's Rosetta mission is set to land a probe on the 2.5 mile long comet 67P. The scheduled landing will be the first time that a spacecraft will have successfully landed on a comet. For astrobiologists, the landing will be an opportunity to look for and examine any organic materials on the comet to assess their potential as building blocks for life. If Comet 67P is found to contain amino acids, for example, that would make it possible that comets are an effective means to de disseminate organic material essential for the creation of life. This would make the comet's landing a continuation of a long series of NASA and European Space Agency missions to find where the conditions for life may be found in our solar system. September 10 photographs of the comet taken by the Rosetta spacecraft suggest another reason for the mission. One of these photos reveals what appear to be a number of UFOs flying over the surface of Comet 67P and what looks like a radio transmission tower. Also, an anonymous email from an alleged European Space Agency insider claims that the Rosetta mission was indeed established to investigate radio signals detected 20 years ago suggestive of an extraterrestrial intelligence. Furthermore, the email claimed that Comet 67P was not a comet but some kind of artificially created object. The images are too blurry to conclude anything according to Huffington Post writer Michael Rundle who points out that the claims that the comet transmitted radio signals 20 years ago fail to answer a key question. Quote, if the radio waves were picked up by NASA, why did they leave the space mission to investigate to the European Space Agency? End quote. While the objects in the photograph are blurry, this is not the same as saying they are not artificially created. Furthermore, Rundle's question fails to acknowledge that NASA's own lack of admission to the comet was part of its long history of deceiving the public by ignoring evidence of extraterrestrial life. For example, on August 19, Russian scientists announced that they had discovered microbes flourishing on the windows of the International Space Station. If true, this reveals that microbial life can exist in the vacuum of space. This would revolutionize the scientific understanding of how life can be disseminated through space via comets, thereby lending critical support to the theory of panspermia. NASA's response to the significant public revelation by Russian scientists was silence. NASA, with the cooperation of the European Space Agency, may be again muzzling evidence of extraterrestrial life. A dissident scientist may have leaked the truth about Comet 67P through an anonymous email, based on the photos released so far by the Rosetta mission showing a tail-like structure. It is possible that Comet 67P is transmitting radio signals from an extraterrestrial intelligence that were picked up as long as 20 years ago by NASA. The comet may also have UFOs flying on its surface and into the interior, as the photo suggests. We may learn more of the truth about Comet 67P and a possible connection to extraterrestrial intelligence soon after November 12, when the Rosetta mission's Philia Lander makes its landing.